Guys, I trimmed my nose hair again. I look pretty. <sighs> Because you never want to be the one to start the vlog, so I just have to grab the camera and start it. And it started. Give it to me. Do you want to do this? Okay. Bus Good morning. Let me just put my hair to the side so I look cover my fine. face. <laughs> <laughs> um. Good morning, guys. We, as in Cole, <laughs> is going to pick up his scooter today that we're gonna put and keep on the back of the bus. I'm gonna drive out like 45 minutes to get my uncle's truck and then I gotta drive in the opposite direction an hour and a half in order to get the scooter and then drive back to his place. So for like three hours today, I'm gonna to be do doing a lot of driving and I'll take you with me, I guess, unless Monica wants you. No. <laughs> They're so cute. All I do is look at monkeys on Instagram all the time. It's pretty accurate. Yeah. And just like kind of cry a little. <laughs> Monica's got some two wheel anxieties, so she's a little worried about having a scooter. And I'm not. I'm super excited just because I really think we need this. And obviously, I know how dangerous motorcycles and scooters can be. Yeah, they are. I know someone that died, so it's like, it's, it freaks me out. One point in time when I was smoking, I remember there was this woman that came up to me and was like, you can't smoke here because it was on like school grounds and she was like kept going on about it and she was like my husband died from smoking and i was like lady your husband every husband that ever was and will be has died at some point in time so yeah <laughs> do you want to talk about how we're not actually <laughs> working on the bus this weekend uh my dad needs break we've been doing a lot of two-day weekends, which I think we initially were, like, not going to do, really, but we just kind of started doing it, and he's been working full-time, like, a Monday through Friday thing, which he usually, like, works for himself, so, yeah, we decided it's Christmas, we're not paying the man, and he deserves the break, so I think it'll be good for us. We'll get some stuff done around the house, and start selling some more stuff around the house so we'll make use of it for sure so you get to enjoy watching cole be obnoxious on camera and <laughs> hi perfect <laughs> example <laughs> i know we weren't the words <laughs> Obviously, we're not posting these vlogs uh, live as of yet, but I have a feeling that this is a string of vlogs where it's been a lot of me and people in the comments are going to be like, where's Monica? Bring Monica back. This guy's annoying. Yeah, I can see that. <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> you suck. So I've been trying to not be date specific because I think it really takes something away from vlogs, but it is Christmas time and I purchased three LPs for our little shindig this evening. This one, Grandma got ran over by a reindeer. Some sweet album work on the back side here. Isn't that precious? This may be the greatest Christmas album ever made. John Denver's Rocky Mountain Christmas. Uh, at least side A is really good. One of them's kind of gaudy, a little too much for me. Got, not like gaudy, like, <laughs> like, like gold. <laughs> and of course, Elvis, Memories of Christmas. And boy, this may be the purchase of the year. This is what Cole does every day. He just spins around in circles and he walks up and down the hallway looking for things. So it's gonna be really interesting living in a bus with him and him not being physically capable of losing anything. What? What's up? 
guys talking about me? I was talking about you, how you just lose everything and how every <laughs> single morning you just walk around the house for like 25 minutes just looking for... Like, that, was, that was me looking for my coffee. I wasn't even looking for anything important. <laughs> I was like, where is it? All right, I gotta go. Bye. Have fun. Thanks. Okay, let's go, guys. So before I get going here, another reason why I really wanted a scooter is just for those emergency situations. Like we're driving in an old bus and you know, eventually we're gonna have issues and it's just gonna be nice if we can potentially rescue ourselves in at least two more situations than we would have if we didn't have the scooter. Yay, puppy time. This is for Katie. So those Ikea shelves. Oh, that's sweet. Shelf units. So we're gonna put it in the hygiene. That's our wild dog. Look how big he's got. He's so fluffy. Come Holy here. cow! Whoa! A lot of dog poo over here. A lot of dog poo. Hi. Did you poop? Did you poop? Hi. Settle okay. down, Toby. All right, so I'm officially in my uncle's truck and I've got 55 minutes to my destination and it's 10 o'clock. So that will put an arrival time of 9.50, which means I'll be at least a half hour ahead of schedule. So maybe I can get something to eat. I just stopped per usual at Subway, but I wanted to touch on why I got the scooter that I got. One of the main reasons, originally when I was looking at scooters, I was just looking at 49cc, 50cc. Because in most states, including Missouri, which we are in, you don't have to get it licensed and insured. And I just didn't want to have to deal with an ongoing monthly payment in addition to all the scooter costs. Sorry, I'm still digesting. But then, once I started to ask people that were familiar with scooters, had multiple scooters... You know, 50 cc's just isn't enough. Your top miles per hour you're gonna get out of it is like 40 consistently. Unless you're like on a long stretch or a downhill, you're gonna go 40 really at its tops. And at 40 miles an hour, even if you think of like, you know, a street that has a low mile uh, speed limit, like, you know, 35, if you're topping out at 40, you know, typically when I'm in a vehicle, I'm going 45 in a 35. That's just how I drive, and I feel like it's a bit safer to be able to at least keep up with the standard flow of traffic. The other bit of information that I kept getting from people is don't buy a Chinese brand scooter. And I'm, I typically roll my eyes at stuff like that, but you know they're not saying not to buy Asian scooters. Like they're recommending Japanese scooters and Taiwanese scooters. I hope that's how you say that. Chinese scooters specifically are rather cheaply made and it's really difficult to find repair parts when you end up coming into repairs. And also the majority of scooter shops will not work on Chinese scooters, uh, certain brands that are just kind of like not typically seen because they don't have the parts anyways. Yeah, this way I can have it kind of documented too, so. Absolutely. Drive yeah, that'd be great. <laughs> yeah. It also has a saddle stand on it that you don't have to use the kickstand. Yeah, for sure. That's nice. <laughs> so this is the little glove box. You know, this key. It's nice, it's got a lock. This other one. It's for the back. Yep. Those are uh, new brake pads for the rear. So awesome. They'll probably need it before too long. Same with the back tire. Whenever you get the back tire changed out, it's probably when you're going to want to have them do the, the brake pads as well. Okay. Cool. Could you go through just like basic startup with me too? Sure. So right here is the handlebar lock. Down in that position, keeps your handlebars locked. And there your handlebars are free. There the keys turned on. 
And then there's one more position, that's the start position. Okay. You gotta have your foot on the foot brake to start it. Yep. And then yellow start button. And that's that. Same thing when you turn off, gonna make sure you wanna, I always just lock the handlebars, that way I know it's completely off. Okay, so there's a lock, there's a lock position. Yep. You gotta push, push in and turn to get out of the lock and to get back in. See how it pushes in? Cool. And then that slides back and off. And there's your battery. I think this is still the original battery, and to be honest, these only get like two or three years out of them. Yeah. It's. I looked on eBay, they're about $30, $35, so mm -hmm. probably within the next year or so, you'll, you'll be needing a new battery. Okay. And then, uh... I guess, uh, what have you been doing? Uh, you've been doing the oil change and whatnot, any specific type or what you've been I using? I use fully synthetic oil. Okay. And change it every thousand miles. Push down on the seat while you're turning it. And then that's your gas fill right there. Okay. And there's the little tool kit that came with it originally. Mm -hmm. So yep, same thing. See it snaps into place there. I'm not going to lie, it's a little nerve-wracking being that I know absolutely nothing about scooters to now be a scooter owner. But this will be just terrific to have while we're on the road. I know I'm going to end up using this a lot. And if I don't, Honda Elites are really well known. Like, I know I'll be able to get my money back once I'm in a position and want to sell the scooter. And really, I actually want to get a vintage motorcycle at some point in time. So eventually, this scooter will go regardless. But I'm happy to now be the owner of it. That's for sure. All right, on impulse decision, I decided to drive out to the bus, Monica's parents, and drop the scooter off out here for storage. I will have to bring the scooter back in town because I'm going to have to get a little maintenance done on it with uh, the back brake pads and getting these new tires that the guy gave me on there as well. But uh, maybe that'll be my first long distance driving test. Super excited. Straps held up great on the highway. He like oh, likes everything. He's been with Monica now for how many years? Uh, 25. In the last 20 of them, she's been telling him how to eat. So he likes all kinds of stuff he didn't like before, right? To think I wasn't gonna get the pleasure of working with you this weekend, Jim. <laughs> <laughs> I've actually got something you can help me with while you're out here. Hmm. Yay! <laughs> See, I'm really excited about this. I know you are. Your daughter's not too excited. I bet she isn't. Did you hear me my keys, hon? Yeah, I don't think she was all thrilled with it, but I think she'll like it. I think it's one of those things that, like, you got to be comfortable with and know and, you know, clearly, like, since it's new, there's going to be a bit of a learning curve. Sure. I'd like to be the first one to wreck it. Was well, it bigger than I thought? <laughs> <laughs> that's what she said. <laughs> wow, that's a good condition. What is this? A in, 90 something? An 87. Jeez. Here, you can give it a start. I don't really give a shit. So, you there's. Want, you want to start it? You can start it. Go okay. ahead and put your foot on the brake. Oh, that's like a thing. And then hit this. And then hit the start button. Stays on the off. What does it say? Running off. Run. I would think you'd have to be in run. Probably. Give it a little gas. There you go. There you go. It's going now. Oh, wow. <laughs> Break. Break. <laughs> Break. Oh, that's terrifying. So there's also, hold on, there's also. Okay, so now. A, hold on, let's go over the Is that brakes. neutral? Beep. No. Oh, that's, what's the N? It's a horn, it says H-O-R-N. Oh. oh, just see the N. <laughs> yeah, that's the brakes. It's pretty easy to pick up on. You do at times feel like, you've seen those videos always where someone's like throttled it into a wall. <laughs> like they've gotten on it, just like, just get like. Kind of like I felt back at the house. <laughs> there was there's a good like split 15 seconds where I was like, there goes Jim. <laughs> there goes my brand new bike. <laughs> Monica's never gonna let me ride this. <laughs> okay, now a mini figure eight.
Oh. Break! <laughs> nice. I haven't been on anything with two wheels that I can remember since probably I was well, I stopped riding my bike when I was a sophomore in high school, so like 15 years old. Yeah, I haven't driven a, ridden that a bike is, even in a while. I I mean, I know if I'd stay on this for like a half an hour. You'd have it. And then do it again tomorrow, yeah. I think I'd be fine. It's 38 and a half, so it's five inches short. And so the options is either taking that off or emptying out that trailer? Yeah. Not good options because I really don't want to take this motherfucker off either. <laughs> <laughs> but we could set the seats. All we had to do is set the seats on the ground out there. When we took the seats out, our original intentions were like, oh, we can sell these. Someone's going to want these. Nobody wants them. So now we've got a horse trailer full of bus seats, and Jim needs to use it. I say we set them up here like stadium seating. I can't think of anything else I'd rather do right now, Jim. Oh, now, yeah. you could throw these in the back of Steve's truck. Absolutely not. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Steve got you some free seats. This is a prime example of procrastinating about getting rid of something. So here's Cole now, last minute. It's the eve of the holidays. Every nice thing I said about Jim, I'd like to take back at this moment. And he has to move the seats. It's Christmas, goddammit! It's, he has to move the seats because now I need the trailer because he waited frickin' two months, three months? How long, when did you buy the, the bus? I don't know, time doesn't exist. Yeah, that's right. I'm going to do that. I, I think this is actually going to work, Cole. Don't worry about that, that's mine. Okay, any last words, Cole? Just make sure you immediately throw away all of your bus seats. They're not worth the 20 bucks you potentially would make on them. Just throw them away. Keep going. Three. Keep going. Two. One. Stop. All right. And he's good. I'm trying to get you on camera. <laughs> Can you say hi? You could surely take him on a trip for a couple months. Say hi. And then Steve could meet you somewhere and go pick him up. <laughs> more doggies! More doggies! He's not yeah. as wild right now. Hi. Hi. Welcome. Do you have Scooter? I have Scooter. Cool. Do you take pictures? Yeah, I'll show you them here in a second. Um, I'm really tired. I did a lot more driving today than I thought I was going to do. You've been gone for like six hours. Yeah, so um, Jim and I also got to play with the scooter, which you'll see momentarily. <laughs> I'm exhausted. Monica, what do you have to say? I don't know. I want to see it. I don't think I... You showed me so many posts of different scooters you were looking at that I don't even know. <laughs> like, I don't know what the fuck it looks like. 